so welcome and let us continue our discussions on the chapter on factors and multiples so in the previous lectures we have discussed about factors and multiples and our observations about factors and multiples and also we discussed about finding the factors of a number in this video i'm going to focus on the concept of prime numbers and composite numbers and then i will also discuss a method to find prime numbers between 1 200 so this is going to be our discussion for this session so let's move on to our discussion now observe the table that is shown here very carefully so what we have done here is that this table consists of three columns here i have written numbers from 1 to 12 and uh, uh, the other number the other column here right that has the factors of this number and then here we are just putting a count on the number of factors so we start with number one and we know that the only factor for number one is one and therefore the number of factor here is one so that is the first one then we have fa another number which is number two two factors for the number two and the number of factors are two then we go for the number three and so three has the factors for three are one and three and the number of factors are two then the factors for number four so the factors for number four will be one two four and the count for this is going to be three factors now when i come to number five now this is a bit unique right so the the only factors that you have for five are one and five because there is no other way in which you can create 5 other than multiplying it by 1. So the only factors that 5 has is 2. Then we go for 6 and I think this we also covered in the earlier examples. And the factors of uh, 6 will be 1, 2, 3 and 6. And for this 2 and 3 is 6, 2 multiplied by 3 is 6 and 3 multiplied by 2 is 6 and even 1 by 6. That is 1 multiplied by 6 and 6 by 1. So we have 4 factors here for the number 6 then we go for number 7 and again a very interesting thing happens here is that the only factors that we can find out for number 7 is number 1 and the number 7 itself so we say that the number 7 has only two factors then we go for the number 8 and then the number of factors that could be found for 8 are 1 2 4 and 8 so there are four the number of factors for eight is four and we go for nine and of course the number of factors for nine is one three and nine that is three factors for ten we have one two five and ten the number of factors for ten are four now this another interesting case comes up when we take up the number eleven and it seems that the only two factors for eleven is the one and the number eleven itself so there are only two factors for this number 11 then we go for 12 and then these are all the factors that are written for 12 so there are total six factors for the number 12 now if you have a look at this table very closely and try to see any pattern that emerges here specifically you can see that there are some numbers which have only two factors for example the number two number three then the number five we are i'm just encircling the number of factors here and again number seven has only two and number eleven has only two now in this table i have just taken numbers till twelve but you can try going beyond the number 12 maybe you can take even a bigger number okay and try to find out whether there are numbers which have only two factors okay so from the number of factors that a, a number can have we can divide them into two parts one set of numbers which have only two factors and other set of numbers which have more than two factors now it's important to know that the number one here the number one here is very unique because it just has a one one factor so now 
based on this discussion let us proceed and define the prime numbers so we saw that in the previous example there were a few numbers which had only two number of factors right two factors so those numbers they are called as prime numbers in mathematics and the definition of it would be the numbers other than one whose only factors are one and the number itself and the examples are examples are 2 3 5 7 11 13 and you can go on to find out numbers like these so these are the examples of prime numbers now all the other numbers which have more than two factors they are called the composite numbers so we have just divided numbers into two groups based on the number of factors that they have and prime numbers are the ones which have only two factors and all the other numbers are composite numbers now just a few observations to keep in mind you have to be understanding that the number one is neither a prime number nor a composite number the reason why we say this is that if we see the definition for prime number it must have two factors right but number one has just one factor and and of course if we cannot satisfy this we check for the criteria for composite number now does one have more than two factors no hence it is neither a prime number or a, nor a composite number and it's also important to know that 2 is the smallest prime number and also the only even prime number this is a very important thing to note that the only even prime number is 2 and what follows as a consequence of this observation is that every prime number except 2 is odd in fact what you can do is verify yourself by trying to find out numbers more than 2 so if we just take the example here as you can see that right 3 5 7 11 13 and you can go on even further and you will find that all those numbers they are odd so this was our discussion about prime numbers now let me give you an important concept of another type of numbers that we encounter and they are the odd and the even numbers so note that we are just this uh, you know what we are doing here we are just distributing the numbers into groups based on some properties of those numbers so in the previous case we just found out the number of factors and on that basis we divided the numbers so odd and even numbers is another way of dividing the numbers so what are even numbers they are simply the numbers that are multiples of two this is an important thing that are multiples of two the examples would be 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 16 18 20 and it just goes on okay and then what would be the odd numbers so the numbers that are not multiples of 2 they will be called as the odd numbers so the numbers 1 3 5 7 9 11 13 and so on are the odd numbers now as, as we saw that what we are doing is we are just saying that if a number is a multiple of 2 it's an even number else it's all it's just you know it's just a way of classifying the numbers now how do you quickly test whether a number is an even number or not so for that let's first have a look at the examples that I have given over here for the even numbers. so you see that the numbers even numbers they have 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 16 18 20 and you can even add more if you like like 22 24 26 28 30 32 and so on now do you see any pattern emerging over here so if you if, if, if you observe closely you would find that these numbers 2 4 6 8 now let's let's let let's have a look at this two digit numbers right 0 2 4 6 8 again let's have a look at this 0 2 4 6 and 8 so what we see is that even numbers right they, they almost in the units place they are having any one of 
zero two four six and eight and so that is what precisely is the criteria to quickly tell whether a number is an odd or an even number so a number which has zero two four six or eight any of these in the ones place is an even number else it is odd so just to take some examples let us say that i am arbitrarily taking a big number like one two six seven eight four now can you tell quickly whether this is an odd or an even number and when i say even number it simply means that it must be divisible by two right it, it has to be a multiple of two or it must be divisible by two so when i have a look at this here what is i'll just have a look at the ones place so in the ones place is four and yes four is a multiple of two that is two times so this is an even number similarly if we take another example of a larger number